and stuck at home. Hey, hey stuckers. stuckers! Welcome to today's challenge, which is called Puzzle Peculiarities. Because <laughs> I'm all about the puzzles. And people often describe me as peculiar, and I think it means unique. Mm -hmm. Go with that, stuff. Or weird. <laughs> So today's all about number puzzles, so having fun with numbers, manipulating. The great thing is that with all of the challenges today, you can be very mathematical about it, or you can just use what we call trial and error. So have a go. <laughs> if it doesn't work, make an adjustment, see if you can get it to work. So, so tell us about level one. Level one is called Magic Triangle. Mm. So to do this puzzle, you just need to get a couple of things ready. Mm -hmm. First, you'll need to draw your magic triangle, which will look like this. So you can see we've just drawn circles. So the six circles made into a triangle with the lines between to make it look like a triangle. And you will also need the numbers one to six, one through to six. Uh, and you can just, um, I traced around something round and wrote the numbers on. So now... I was just going to say, you can actually just draw onto all of our puzzles today. You can just draw oh, them with yes. pencil and rub it out. But we found it's easier, especially if you're using trial and error, to have the little counters. Oh yeah, I like being able to move it around. Yep. Yep. So okay. we'll show you how it works. Great. I've got my numbers from one to six. What I have to do is I have to place the numbers inside the circles so that each side of the triangle adds up to nine if you add those three numbers. So, for example, if I was to go like that, 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So that works. But then, if I go, well, if I put 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 5 is 9, that works. 9, 9. But if I put the 4 in the middle here, yeah. I'm in trouble because 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15. Mm. Which means I need to rearrange to um, change where I have my numbers and keep rearranging and keep trying different things, trial and error as Kim called it, until I can get all three of my sides to add up to 9. I'm thinking that it might be... You know, the maths way of thinking. Maybe I try putting all my biggest numbers in the middle of a line and my smaller numbers on a corner. Have a go at that and see if try that, that helps. Mm. Great, Sal. So that's the magic triangle yeah. where the totals of each side equal nine. Mm. If you can do that, have a go at magic triangle where the totals equal ten. It can be done. You can also do eleven. And 12. Wow, so, so that's like four in four one. Four different challenges in one. Great. Now, I think this is a great one. Once you've got them worked out, test out the rest of your family, see if they can come up with a solution as well. It may look slightly different to yours, but just do the adding for each side and check that they've actually succeeded. Hmm, great. Are you ready for level two, Sal? I am. Okay, so for level two, you're going to need a slightly different game board. We've got six little squares in the middle and then an extra square out the side. So there's eight all together, and our same little number counters that we had before, but this time the number's one to eight. Okay, let's have a look at how this game works. Let's. So this challenge style isn't about adding numbers, it's about consecutive numbers. So consecutive numbers are numbers that come directly before and after each other. So three and four, two, three, four, they're consecutive numbers. So the challenge here is you can't have consecutive numbers touching each other so either next to each other or diagonally wow. so two three and four they've, they've got to be separated out I could put a seven here a five can't go there because it's near this the four so I could put it over there I could put an eight here and I could put a no so I can't put my six there or there because it's diagonally connected ah. to a seven and a five so I haven't succeeded. Lots of trial and error needed in this challenge, lots I think. Of, lots of trial and error. So I've ended up with one and two together as well. So there's a few problems with this one. So you can just do trial and error, Sal, or think about which ones are going to be better in the middle. That's my hint for today. These are the two middle squares. Which two numbers are going to be best in the middle? And start at that point and see how you go. And again, there's lots of different solutions to this one. Mm. 
I think I'd, I think I need a little while to sit and work this out, <laughs> Kim. I'll do that after we film. Okay. I really enjoy this little challenge, Sal, because you really can just fiddle around, guess and check, and, and come up with something, hmm. or you can switch on your maths brain and and find a, a bit of logic to where you position your numbers. Okay, on to level three. Level three. If you thought the magic triangle was interesting, wait until Kim shows you the magic square. <laughs> Magic square is very similar to the magic triangle, except this time we've got nine squares and the numbers one to nine. And you have to arrange them so that each row across and down and diagonal adds up to the same number. So for magic squares, all you need to do is put a number in each square. I'll just randomly put them in at the moment and see if they all add up to the same total. So let's just check here, I've got 12, 16, 19, no, they don't add up to the same, but remember it's going across, going down, and also both diagonals for this one need to add to the same thing. Is there only one possible total, Kim? Only one possible total. Mm. And if you get really stuck, we're going to give two hints at the very end of our video. So don't watch to the very, very end. After the bloopers, I hope. After Everyone the, wants to watch the bloopers. After the bloopers. <laughs> Uh, so we will give you two hints. Hint number one, we'll tell you what number we think you should put in the middle first. And hint number two, we'll tell you what things need to add up to. Alrighty, three different challenges for today, Sal. In that order, magic triangle. Consecutive numbers. And the magic square. Great. Lots of maths fun. Thanks for joining us today, Stuckers. We hope you enjoyed our challenge. And Stuckers, we know you're stuck at home but your family are stuck with you. So try to be peculiar. <laughs> I think it means unique, but if it means weird, that's okay, be weird. See you later, Stuckers. See you, Stuckers. Speaking of puzzles, there's only one thing that puzzles me. Why do dogs work so hard to please their owners all the time? I don't, and I still get fed, and I'm still allowed to sit on Sal's lap, and they still pat me and love me. Dogs are so puzzling. See you later, stuckers. Might just go all right. <laughs> Kidding me, I wasn't recording any of that. Any of it? No. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Impossible total? I can't remember. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, there's only one possible total. Yes, Sal. <laughs> <laughs>